Have you ever heard of Candyman? And if you look in the mirror, you say his name five times. In cities everywhere. Candyman? They whisper his name. Right. Candyman. It's just a story. Candyman. Candyman. Just a ghost story. Candyman. Candyman. You don't have to believe. Hey there guys, how are you? Welcome back to another awesome video. And today's movie review is gonna be of Candyman. So Candyman, the original 1992 classic follows a group of colleagues, a woman named Helen, specifically wanting to investigate this phenomenon that is called Candyman. So this movie is directed by Bernard Rose, and I'm not too familiar with him, although he does make a cameo briefly, like right into the gate, and right into the beginning of the movie in this dinner sequence with all these colleagues. And apparently, speaking of cameos, I think it's Ted Raimi? I want to say the brother of Sam Raimi. Jameson, Spider-Man. Hoffman! Yeah? Makes an appearance in this. And I think it's so interesting that the little, I guess, horror nuggets in here, like the Raimi being related to Sam Raimi, and then Clive Barker has a, I think, executive credit, or this is like based off of like a story he came up with or something. All I know is that there is a credit to Clive Barker, which I think is very interesting and I think kind of makes sense. And I'm going to kind of change things up just a little bit because I just want to just immediately jump right out to the gate is that I honestly don't... Well, first I'm going to say this, is that this is the first time I'm actually fully seen the movie. Up until now, I've never seen the movie fully. The only scene I've seen from this film, which is the most, I think in my opinion, the most iconic scene, is when Candyman delivers the, Be. My. Victim. That line, I think it's just so iconic. I think it just solidifies in horror and in sort of in cinema history, but outside of that, never seen it until now fully so now i've fully seen it and i gotta say there's not really a lot of the characters i cared about in this film like some of them side characters i kind of was like okay the only characters i really cared for were helen you have maybe the best friend to helen and Candyman, who is fantastically voiced by the legendary Tony Todd. And if you don't know this man, he is the voice of Zoom in the CW series. What happens to you and your father is still to be decided. And he recently was Venom in the Spider-Man 2 game. Insomniac Spider-Man game. So I think that's pretty awesome. Before he became such a name in the industry. I wouldn't be surprised if this was his first debut or one of his first debuts because people now look at him and go, hey, you've got such a iconic, booming, deep, sinister voice we can use for things like villains. I think what's also great about not only just the character, but also the movie as a whole, is I like the idea that Candyman isn't one person. Spoilers if you haven't seen the original 1992 film, I do recommend you guys go check it out if you want to. And I know this is probably like 20 years or 40 years or so old, but still like if you haven't seen it, I still want to at least be like, hey, if you want to go check it out, go check it out. Candyman of course dies, but the woman, Helen, that Candyman is basically harassing and violating and kind of have like in a weird strange way a domestic relationship because he's so addicting to want to have Helen as his victim as like trying to seduce her in a sense to the point where when he dies and burns in the fire Helen becomes kind of like the new Candyman and I think it's very fitting because it feels like Candyman isn't just a person it's like the embodiment the entity or the deity that I guess symbolizes Candyman is like someone of abuse, someone of pain, someone of torture, someone of suffering, something of sorrow. Because you have the original Candyman, Tony Todd, who he got his hand cut off. And I think he was shoved into 
beehives and honeycombs, and that's why he is this boogeyman, if you will. With Helen, she's being seduced and almost being manipulated and being abused by Candyman. And once he's dead, because she's gone through suffering and torture, everyone's kind of turning against on her, her own husband's cheating on her, and the world kind of, in a sense, almost abused her by even she also burned and died in that fire at the end of the movie. Almost kind of like this reoccurring thing of Candyman will prevail as long as someone suffers. So I think that's a really interesting and dark sort of analogy going on here. So I think that's the best thing I will say about is the analogy and just the two main actors. Other than that, I don't have anything else going for it. I will say another plus is that this is a very slow burn and it's not like your regular slashers like your Freddy Kruegers or your Chuckies where you have a lot of kills. You have some good kills, but it's not like a kill spree and not a lot of gore showing. When you see the gore, you see the gore. Even though kind of like at times it feels like they kind of cut it or they kind of edit a little bit so you don't see all the gore, but you kind of get a nice imagination of what just happened, especially when you have, when you have fucking Candyman who's got a hook for a hand and he's slicing necks off and maybe like stabbing through people's guts and rib cages. It's just so good. I'm going to give Candyman the 1992 movie. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a solid A. So Candyman, have you guys seen it? What did you guys think of it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And hopefully, with how many times I've said his name, we didn't start anything because Candyman would go up there in the Hall of Fame of characters you shouldn't say multiple times. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please smash the like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do awesome videos every day, if not every week. Make sure you ring that bell. I do new videos every day, if not every week. Share the video, family and friends, all the good stuff and more. Leave suggestions down in the comments. You name it, I'll look at you as best as possible. Got more reviews for you guys and other stuff coming your way. And if there's a specific movie you want me to cover before the end of this year, let me know. Or, hypothetically, maybe for next year. If you guys give me a request for Halloween or spooky, horror-related, I might look into it for next year. Or how it might just be a horror movie that I might just review on a random Tuesday. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.